previously on the Clown News Network. Glass Lewis says we are generally supportive of the right for shareholders to act by written consent. Regarding the right of shareholders to call a special meeting, they say Glass Lewis strongly believes that investors should have the ability to call meetings of shareholders between annual meetings to consider matters that require prompt attention. Biddy watching the Clown News Network last night, and they had the audacity to say that I was afraid to talk about proposals three and four that's coming up on the ballot, okay, which we will be getting emails soon. I'll keep y'all up to date on that, all right? But I'm like, why would I be afraid to talk about proposals three and four? Because you've done such a well job explaining it, Cowboy Clown. Everybody should completely understand what proposals three and four really mean. So let me start back over again. And let's let Cowboy Clown explain to us because he done such a well job and then I'll be back with my commentary, okay? Glass Lewis says we are generally supportive of the right for shareholders to act by written consent. What Tony is quoting is Glass Lewis's opinion on proposal number three to approve an amendment to our certificate of incorporation to eliminate the prohibition against stockholders acting by written consent. All right, and to fully understand that, we also have to read number four. Let's hear it. Regarding the right of shareholders to call a special meeting, they say Glass Lewis strongly believes that investors should have the ability to call meetings of shareholders between annual meetings to consider matters that require prompt attention. Hell yeah, that's exactly what we're needing. See, right now, shareholders do not have the ability. Give me a a, a modern-day application here. Uncle Frank's got a petition to have Adam Aaron resign, all right? And he wants to bring it before the board. He cannot write into the board as a shareholder and ask for a special meeting of the shareholders so that we can address the petition for Adam Aaron to resign. We don't have that power. Now, if they remove this prohibition, then it says here that stockholders will be able to write in to the board for special consent for shareholder meeting, okay? Fuck yeah, that's exactly what we're wanting. And that's why I say number four goes with it because if number four is approved, We approve an amendment to our Certificate of Incorporation to remove the limitation on stockholders' ability to call special meetings. All right, and the way you call a special meeting is by written consent. You write into the board for it. All right, so if we remove these two, then shareholders will be able to write in and request special meetings of shareholders and Glass Lewis says they approve of that. So hell yeah, Glass Lewis. That's what I'm talking about, baby. However, in order to prevent abuse and waste of corporate resources by a small minority of shareholders, we believe that shareholders representing at least a sizable majority of shares must support such a meeting prior to its calling. Well, I'd be a son of a... So wait a minute. Even if we vote to approve three and four and they eliminate the prohibition of the stockholders acting by written consent and the fact that they remove the limitation that a stockholder has the ability to call special meetings, that doesn't mean me and you people. He just told you, he told you and he showed you that their opinion is it has to be somebody that has a substantial amount of shares of AMC in order to call the special meeting. However, in order to prevent abuse and waste of corporate resources by a small minority of shareholders, we believe that shareholders representing at least a sizable majority of shares must support such a meeting prior to its calling. All right. That is not me and you. That is Vanguard and State Street and everybody else that holds shares of AMC. They are the ones that are being prohibited from doing this. All right, they are the ones prohibited from calling special meeting of the of the shareholders to hold a meeting to try to overthrow the board. 
We aren't limited in it. We're always limited in it. And we'll always be limited in it. They are the ones that are limited and they want the limit removed. So let's hear it again, Cowboy Clown. Explain to us again how proposals work again. I'm not going to read through all of this. What do you mean you're not going to finish reading through it, Cowboy Clown? You got to the part right there where you exposed yourself that it is they that want this thing lifted so they can make changes to our board and then all of a sudden you don't want to talk about it no more. So, I'm not afraid to talk about anything, people. I will stand by what I say I believe and I will bring the receipts to prove what I believe. And I believe this is an institution who's been pumping away for the past two years all right, to get these things passed, and now there's really nothing else for us to vote about. It's only this. So why is why are we having to vote on removing our anti-takeover measures? Just answer that question. With that, love y'all. Be blessed, and I'll see you in the next video.